from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, the weather story starts to get a little bit more favorable as we head through the next 24 to 36 hours. High pressure continues to build into the region and that's going to lead to sunshine, but the winds are going to shift also and that's going to bring some milder air into forecast. Uh, also, temperatures by the time we head towards the weekend, well, they're going to be running nearly 10 degrees above where we should be. Uh, that's all going to be thanks to that southerly flow. Unfortunately, it's short term this time of year where fall is a transitional season and we're going to start to see these cold fronts get a little bit more frequent. Unfortunately, rain chances are going to come back into view before this is all over. But for now, we're going to be focusing on the shifting winds. As I showed you earlier, northwesterly flow was well, going to start to take on more of a westerly and then a southwesterly turn as we head uh, closer to your Saturday. And that's going to cause these temperatures to get a little bit warm. 55 degrees. That's the seasonal average for the next couple of days. We'll check out where we go. We go from 53 degrees, a full 10 degrees warmer by Friday, hanging out in the low 60s, which is going to put us above average through the start of the work week. Unfortunately, you can see where that secondary cold front comes in and drops those numbers uh, down into the low 50s by next Tuesday. So we want to soak up this sunshine and these warmer temperatures that we're going to start to see after we get through tomorrow. It's going to be a chilly drive to work. I think you're going to be using the heated steering wheel and the heated seats in the low 30s, upper 20s to start off the morning, warming into the the upper 30s by the 9 o'clock hour. Your afternoon forecast is also looking quite chilly. I don't think many folks are going to be going out of the office to grab a bite to eat, maybe uh, doing a little bit of a uh, DoorDash, Grubhub, all of those other uh, apps here. And then temperatures falling into the low to mid 40s as we head into the evening hours tomorrow. As far as Friday is concerned, we start to see that milder flow start to take hold. We're going to start off the morning in the low 40s, so not as chilly as a morning drive, warming into the mid 50s as we head into the afternoon, and then those temperatures cooling back down. I do think we crest at about 63 degrees though for your Friday. I'm expecting a few more clouds on Saturday, but not expecting it to be uh, overcast as far as the afternoon is concerned, but temperatures will continue to warm and we'll get a little bit warmer uh, into the low to mid 60s across the area. Seven day forecast where of course your weekend is in view. Looking pretty solid. If you're looking to make plans to be outdoors, I told you I'd tell you when you could wear short sleeves. I think we'll be doing some of that Friday afternoon and Saturday afternoon. Another cold front brings those rain chances on your Monday. Temperatures will eventually dip down into the lower 50s, which by Tuesday, that's very close to where we should be. And then another frontal system brings more rain chances as we head towards next Wednesday.